I'm living my dream, you know, I'm very happy. I'm very, I love singing, I love music. I love people, you know, I love to travel and walking around and seeing the English garden all the time. It's, it's, it's just amazing, so, so I'm happy and I'm, I'm living my dream quite. I spent the most uh, years of my childhood uh, in the Bronx, uh, which is, you know, quite quite different in a lot of ways than, than many places uh, in Europe. When I'm hiking, I, I really, I think about a lot of things, you know, I certainly, you know, can think about my life and, and everything like that, but, but uh, it, it's also really, really important for me to, to think about the music as, as well. It sort of creates a, a, a blank canvas, you know, for me to, to just kind of uh, project my thoughts on. The trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised, and the dead shall be When you come here, you know, obviously you understand very, very well, you know, the, the history because it just surrounds you, the, the buildings that you're walking into. There's so, there's so much history, of course, you know, it's, it's just amazing to be here and, and to realize that this is, this is where it all was, uh, yeah, where, where it all was, was, was created. And we shall be I decided to go to college and I wanted to study astronomy and physics uh, because I very much liked math and science. I took the first class of astronomy and I decided that it was too difficult for me and, and you know that I wanted to you know pursue music which which I ended up liking you know more at the college level. To have my, my instrument always with me is, is a blessing and a curse. Sometimes, you know, if, if you wake up and you have a little bit of a sore throat, that's no fun, obviously. But it's wonderful to, to have it be one of the most innate expressions of, of my own humanity and of my own body.